Okay guys, story time. So recently in a vlog, uh, the situation went down and I, I wanted to spend a little more time on it. I wanted to kind of share my point of view on it and I'm not entirely sure what happened, but I, but I have speculation as to what happened. So I kind of wanted to talk about it. So the kids, uh, Summer and Isaiah and Abby uh, and Becca were all hanging out and uh, th there's this booth that's just jamming out with music. There's a DJ over there dropping beats and whatever DJs do. There were a bunch of TikTok dancers that, that were over there dancing. Uh, they're giving out free merch for the dancers, stuff like that. It was just a party. Everybody was having a good time. Abigail was, was doing her thing. You know, she loves being near the music. Isaiah and Summer, they know that. How much she loves me she likes she likes to get as close to the speakers as possible and uh you know she does her own dancing and just feeling the music sitting on the ground and enjoying herself um she just has a good time so among all these all these dancers is is abby doing her thing and she does stand out a little bit of course you know her movements are not traditional dance moves they're just what she's feeling and and uh just you know vibing as the kids say so people tend to tend to notice, you know, they tend to take notice of her as she's making her way through the crowd to get as close, like I said, to the speakers as possible. So like I said, they were handing out merch and the representative that was that was giving that merch out uh, picked something out very special for Abby, something that that she would appreciate that has sensory aspect to it. And and I, I think she recognized that. I think she recognized um, I don't know if she has an experience with autism if she knows uh, you know, anyone in her family or anyone that she knows has autism, but, but she definitely recognized um, something that Abigail would enjoy and brought that over to her specifically. And just her, you know, her, her hand on it and showing her that it was fuzzy and and hoping that Abigail would like it. And I just, it warmed my heart so much how much she did like it. She clinged to it. She actually wore it. She wore a fanny pack. That blew my mind. She's never been into wearing things like that we put it on her waist and she was into it she loved it you know when you go out of your way like this like this young lady did uh, to show acceptance it's not just a feeling of acceptance for for the person with autism it's also a, a feeling of acceptance for the whole family it made us very comfortable it, it made us feel good to be there you know like like the whole family was was accepted because they accepted abigail it just it it was the best best time I think sometimes as parents we, we jump to conclusions and think that people are watching and staring at our kids because they're they're doing things that, that aren't quote unquote normal. But sometimes people are just trying to figure it out or, or, or they've experienced it themselves. They recognize it and and they understand and they know. I really feel like in this situation, that young lady, she knew. And uh, she went out of her way to show acceptance towards my daughter. And I'm grateful for that. This is the world that we find more often than not just by getting out in public, putting ourselves out there, you know, taking that risk. It, it, it turns out to be good. People are good. The world is good.